First tonight at 10, a double health fear in Detroit. The growing number of monkey pox and COVID cases putting a tradition on hold for the third year in a row. The city's annual Labor Day parade down Michigan Avenue once again canceled. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Glenda Lewis. This decision comes as the state tops 100 cases of monkeypox. The majority of the infections are in the city of Detroit. Tonight, health leaders say the demand for the vaccine is far outweighing the supply. 7 Action News reporter Alex Bozargian in Ferndale with how a nonprofit organization is helping to stop the spread of the disease. They've had three vaccine clinics here at Affirmations, and at every single one of those clinics, they've run out of shots. The executive director here, Dave Garcia, says a low vaccine supply is a problem for everyone, especially when people are gathering in large groups and they don't have any protection. This is a very painful virus, and if it happens to you, uh, you're, you're going to take it a lot more seriously. The monkeypox virus does not discriminate. It can spread from any one person to another. Health experts say if you come in contact with an infected person's body fluid or open sores, you can get the virus. That's why Dave Garcia, a leader in the LGBTQ community, says no one should be singled out and everyone should be concerned. This is not a queer virus. It just got a foothold in our community and therefore it is in our community now and we have to respond to that. But we need to put prejudices and homophobia aside and recognize soon enough, it's going to be all of our problem. The city of Detroit is now reporting 32 cases. This is partly why the annual Labor Day March down Michigan Avenue was called off. The council who puts on the event released a statement saying in part, given the rise in COVID cases and monkeypox, we have decided to put everyone's safety first and cancel this year's event. The best protection against MPV continues to be vaccination. As of Thursday, Oakland County has vaccinated roughly 1,500 people. On Wednesday, they got a second allocation of doses, 240 vials, which translates to 1,200 doses. Are you seeing the, the demand very much outweigh the supply? Absolutely. Calandra Green says come Monday, the Oakland County Health Department will start administering second doses. While the group who qualifies for the vaccine remains relatively small, Green says they are looking to vaccinate people in congregate settings like long-term care facilities. We have not seen cases up to this point from those areas. Uh, but we do want to be prepared uh, and have a plan. Garcia says affirmations will keep administering vaccines as long as they have the supply. We're going to do as many clinics as we possibly can to try to get out ahead of this thing. If you need more information on who qualifies for the vaccine, where you can get vaccinated and how the virus spreads, you can visit our website at WXYZ.com. In Ferndale, I'm Alex Bozargian for 7 Action News.